Okay, and no new concerns, anything going on? No. Okay, you're still using your cane because of the vertigo? Uh, because I my balance is crap. Okay. That's quite succinct and descriptive. <laughs> well, I, I use it when I have vertigo too, but I, mostly because my balance is crap. Okay. And last time I adjusted your orthotics a little bit. Um, I didn't. I didn't bring them. I wore them last night. They're still hurting. Um, this, the fourth toe, um, apparently, or maybe it's this one. I bet it's this one. Um, it it bows up and shows in the shoe. I I will bring my orthotic. I will bring the whole thing in next time. Okay. Um, I would like you. Okay. I have, have a who has um, managed to get sepsis in her system because of a couple of ingrown toenails. Hmm. Uh, that takes a lot of work, I know. It, 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 this doesn't do sound, does it? Yeah, it actually does, but okay. go ahead. I'm, I'm not going to... Anyway, I would like you to check very carefully the third and the fourth toes on this foot um, because I'm still having pain. I rather imagine it's going to be... Um, uh, um, there had to be some other issues going on for her to get sepsis from an ingrown toenail. There always are with her. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think you need to worry. Um, okay, but when I have pain and I can't see down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's a pain that stays consistent, then definitely you know, call and come in. And... Um, if it's if it's a concern, um, if it comes and goes, it's most likely not really much to worry about. No, it it it's there most of the time. Okay. Now that feeling in the toes is it worse when you have a shoe on? I don't know which feeling you you mean the pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went to St. Stern last night and I didn't notice even the left foot. The right foot was driving me crazy um, because it was all dressed up in, in the um, shoe and the, you know, the whole thing. The brace? Yes. Well, not the brace. I don't have one. Um, but the shoe and the... Um, orthotic? And, uh, orthotic and everything, yeah. But so the, these toes didn't bother you last night. Yeah. When do you find that they bother you the most? Um, I I would say basically once a day. What I mean, you know, I notice them mm -hmm. um, every day. Okay. And it feels like it goes up into the foot. Okay. So if I if I press on the actual joints of the toes here, is that painful? I'm not. I'm not flying out of the chair. Okay. And how about this one? Again. Okay. You know, it hang, feels, on, hang on. It feels good like a massage does. Okay. Yeah. If I take this and go all the way up or all the way down, any pain? Yes. Going The going up on both of the them. The going up. Yes. And is the pain up here when I do that? Actually, it goes down into the foot. I think it's on a tendon. Okay. If I press in between them, right there. Sweet mama. Okay. So that's quite painful. How about the next one over? Is that painful? Yes. Okay. Not as. It's most painful right there. Okay. And if I do this, you feel that crunching in there? Yes, I do. Okay. That's an inflamed nerve called an aroma. And I think that more likely is the source of the pain I think than the actual toes. Okay. 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 Um, now, is it painful when I do this right here between the third and fourth? Does that recreate any pain? It, it, I mean, it hurts, but... It, it, okay, how about this one? That there's, one is worse. That one's worse, even though there, there's there's a little crunch in there. Okay. Now, what, can you tell whether it's these two toes that bother you or these two Those toes? Two. Those two. Okay. And that's the most common place to get this neuroma in here, between the third and the fourth toes right in there. I'm not going to press hard again. That's okay. But I would recommend that we start with a little injection in there and see if we can calm that nerve down and get that toe it. pain to go away. I would love it. Okay.
What do you, what, what does, what does a podiatrist inject? What do we inject? Yes. Um, a little bit of anesthetic and then a little bit of cortisone to calm okay. that nerve down. All right. Okay. I was expecting the cortisone. Yeah. Well, the cortisone would hurt if we didn't numb it a little bit too. Uh, so, and then what we'll do is we'll have you back in about three or four weeks. Uh -huh. And almost regardless of what you tell me, we're going to do a second injection. Okay. And the reason for that <laughs> is even if you get no response overall to the first one, uh -huh. the second one can kick it in. Okay. Okay. We can safely do about four of them. And when you come back after the second one. All right. So you're going to feel a little stick. One, two, little burn on the bottom. Respire, respire. Despacio. Okay. That's the only thing that's going to hurt right there. Okay. That was the anesthetic. And now we get the important stuff. And this is the cortisol. And that's it. Interesting. Pain referral is in the intercostal spaces. Really? You yes. felt it up in your ribs? Uh-huh. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, there's there's strange referrals. Yes. Okay, so um, with this, you might, um, once the anesthetic wears off, sure. some people are actually worse the next day. It may get a little bit red hot, swollen. Don't panic. It's I, not I, not I, common, but I What I will do is take a sonomatophil. Or just ice it, take it easy for a day, <coughs> goes away okay. after a day. Um, some people do get immediate relief. Um, even beyond the anesthetic, that's also not real common, but it happens. Okay. The majority of people don't start to notice a difference for about a week, maybe even two weeks. And uh, that's why we're going to wait between three and four weeks for you to come in. And again, almost regardless of what you tell me. There um, will be number two. We'll do number two. Even, okay. You know, unless you tell me that the pain is completely gone, or if you tell me this was the most traumatic experience of your whole life, Anything in between those two, just plan on that we're going to do number two. Okay. I'll plan on it. Okay. Hey, hey, what's up with everybody in the world? This your boy, Kylie Muscle. <clears throat> and as you see, I represent muscle and fitness and cuts and striations. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is a shout out to the team at Thenergy. You guys are doing a great work, man. Nobody care more about fitness and nutrition than I do. So keep up the good work. It's all about incredible gains and great results. Stay motivated. Love y'all. Let me give you a little more inspiration and motivation. Look at them cuts. Love you. Stay blessed. Hey folks, this video serves as a great reminder that it's important to have beautiful and elegant nails and to take care of your nails. So treat yourself to a seven piece manicure set like this. This beautiful kit comes with two nail clippers, trimmers, multi-purpose scissors, an ear pick, cuticle trimmers, eyebrow tweezers, and an acne needle. There's an Amazon link below to the kit that's highly recommended by this YouTube channel. Go ahead and check it out and treat yourself to beautiful nails today.